Hello everyone and welcome to the E-Week News Break straight from the Ritz-Carlton Hotel in Half Moon Bay, California, where Ziff Davis Enterprise is hosting its 2008 CIO Summit. changing your strategy, looking at your infrastructure as a commodity, and really spending less on it, I think I think that's actually going to provide some kind of advantage in terms of you know the way that your business is run. Uh, people working on knowledge management systems, they went, yeah, yeah, that's great. Primarily in the developing world, which means we have challenges including electricity, uh, roads, <laughs> fuel. Unix services could be provided by IBM out of India. The mainframe services are provided uh, by so when you were speaking here earlier at the CIO Summit, one thing I was taken with was that it's not like suddenly a lot of money flowed into the city and you got to hire a lot of staff. You you had to let go 75% of the people who were going to do the work for you. Right, that, that is a true statement. We, we um, laid off 75% of the entire city's employee uh, department, but what we had to do was work smarter and faster and stronger with the less. Um, I also have a staff of contractors that we were using. But yes, I can attest that we, we had to do more with the less. We had to, to be very smart with our business process and processes, and had to automate a lot of manual processes that were in place. So here's my question. It, it seems that you're talking about trying to add a process to something that is always, always viewed as unstructured. People want to start blogs, point products. Can you talk a little bit about the central theme of your book and, and what, what you're trying to say in there? Yeah, um, if we have a lot of companies coming to Horace or asking us how to put in place a blog or a social network or a community. Mm -hmm. And the first question we would ask them is, well, what do you want to do with it? And that's usually met with this long, awkward silence. <laughs> that's a I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. um, and so we thought that it was important to put in place uh, in one place of frameworks, of processes, data, case studies, ROI metrics uh, of how to do this. Because we saw a lot of people doing it the wrong way. They were putting technologies first rather than the objectives first. Joining me now is Eric Lundquist, who actually had the pleasure of sitting down one-on-one -on -one with some of these speakers. Eric, what have you learned from them so far? Maybe just list us three things. Sure. Well, here's three things, Ashley. One, I learned something old uh, from the uh, one of the CIOs at Coca-Cola, who's taking something as basic as the, the amount of printing you do in your company. And it turns out to be an enormous number. Even at Coca-Cola, it was like 225 million pages per year they print. He's controlling those costs, which is good for the company's bottom line, but it's also good for environmental and green concerns. So that's taking something that people really haven't thought too much about and applying technology against it. I learned something new from the, uh, a woman who's an analyst at Forrester, uh, Forrester Company, who just wrote a book on social networking talking about how companies can get a return on investment, what's the process for developing social networks. Social networks are really the hot topic right now. Everyone wants to get into it, but what should you do as a company in terms of applying an ROI analysis against that? So she's really come up with a model, and I, I think something that a lot of us can learn from in terms of what role should blogging and all those other networks play in the company. And, and I also learned something that just makes good sense from the CIO at Lionsgate. Uh, where, you know, you can have all the technology in the world, but sometimes the best thing to do is just to make sure that once a day or once a week, you go in and walk around and meet with all the senior mm -hmm. executives and say, what technologies do you need here? Where do you want to invest? And take that knowledge back and then start thinking about where you're going to make your technology investment. So just every once in a while, technology should take a rest for doing something ses sensible. And that does it for this week's news break. I hope you guys enjoyed your sneak peek into the 2008 CIO Summit. Free week, I'm Asha Daly.